So we've just arrived after six and a half hours of driving, so it's a long one. And we've arrived at our little yurt, which is uh, rather lovely. Let me show you. So we've got a little decking area, barbecue, chimney, a little deck chair. Look at this view. Look at that. It's beautiful, right in the rurals. Got some chairs to sit out. Gorgeous. And this is it. Let me go to widescreen. Here we are. Bumble's finding his way around already, aren't you, darling? <laughs> hey. We've got some chairs sitting here. There's a proper fire, like a log burning fire, which you can cook on as well with the, the uh, chimney it goes out, like a hot tent. And we've got TV, cupboards, fridge freezer, double bed, and cupboards. Fantastic. So the lady came to uh, greet us, which is nice. Sue, she uh, gave us all the uh, lowdown on the area. So it's perfect. So this is our little. Uh, home for a week. Love it. Settled in to watch the football. For us, God save the King. So here we are settled in and I'm laying down on the bed watching the football. Jackie's out in the uh, outside area reading the book and having a little snooze. It's perfect. What a nice start to the uh, the week in Dorset. The thing I love about coming away with Bumble is he gets so excited. Bumble, are you excited? You get so excited, don't you? Especially we got we pulled up in um, a local seaside town, and he could smell the sea. So he just becomes like um, an addict to it. So as soon as he smelled it, he started getting excited. But then when we pulled up here, you got super excited, didn't you? You love being on holiday, don't you? Hey, yeah, you good boy. Right, dinner for the night. I've got macaroni. What have you got? Big stew and dumplings. Very nice. Bunny. <laughs> Got the football on and England got through. Woohoo! Bumble's had, a, had his dinner and had a play, haven't you, Bumble? Hey. So we've travelled all the way down and that's it for tonight and we'll see you in the morning. Hi, so this is day two uh, of our little Dorset Devon trip. And we're in a place called Seaton at the moment, which has got a lovely long beach, as you can see. And nobody around here today. So it's a warm day, but it's a bit cloudy, so it puts people off. And it stretches all that way as well, as you can see. And it's just a really nice place, all sort of cliffs surrounding it. As you can see on the background there, it's just lovely. And uh, the only trouble is no dog walking in the summer, but there are little beaches that they do let you on, which is where we've headed to now. So we can let Bumble have a little run. Here he is, ready for action. Ready? Go! <laughs> he loves the beach life, he really does. Well done! So this little jetty ramp here leads up here and there's a yachting uh, boating club just here and uh, I don't know if you can see over here but so zoom in a bit beautiful bridge with the uh, estuary going into it going under it leading out to the sea So to park here is uh, for an hour how much was it Jackie? Do you remember? £1.70 £1.70 well done I didn't remember and uh, yeah, we parked just down there on the right hand side and then you've got like a little town to walk around but yeah when the sun's out you could lay on this beach quite happily and have a little swim it's really good i've checked all the waters around here and the uh the water's really clean and it's monitored between may and september for swimming so it's much safer time to come out swimming doing a wild swim it's all good fun so that is seaton and we'll head on to another place today and uh we're enjoying our 30th wedding anniversary today so yeah, I know, three life sentences. <laughs> so I didn't think there'd be that much to share about Seaton, but actually it's um, the actual gateway to the um, fossils and the uh, Triassic period, the Jurassic period, and the uh, Cretaceous period. So the white cliffs you see behind me are from the Cretaceous period, and behind me this way are the Jurassic period, 
and then further round is the Triassic period, so it's the actual gateway to the Jurassic coastline. Jeez, who would have thought that for a little town? It's amazing. So this is the famous um, Broadchurch cliffs that you see on the TV show from uh, the West Bay town. And it is just stunning. It's the Jurassic coastline, like I said before. And this is just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Just take that in for a minute. Wow, and I love the, the wild um, coast as well. Beautiful beaches all the way along. Sun's come out, and it's really warm here now, which is nice. I hope you can hear me over the crashing waves, but if you can't, they sound better than me anyway. Yeah, look at that, amazing. They have had some uh, cliff damage recently where it's just eroded and um, there are warnings not to walk too close to it so I'm going to stay along the uh, sea line. And uh, there, there is a coastal walk which takes you up and over the top there but they've closed that for the moment because they've had uh, quite a big chunk fall down recently. All these rocks at the bottom here are all uh, recent falls so yeah it can get a bit dangerous. Here comes Jackie. So just here you can see where all the rock falls come down and you the cliff. So obviously it can be a little bit dodgy down here so we're staying along the edge of the sea line which is cool. Check is behind me. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. She's like Helen from By The Curve. She stops and reads everything, even the station kitchen by sausage and pear sign. <laughs> Tell me about the train tracks. When did it open? 1884. 1884, what was it used for? Going to the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the information. Very handy. <laughs> West Bay. And West Bay is famous for the uh, TV series Broadchurch, starring David Tennant. And I'll just give you a little show around. So this is the actual bay. And that building over there, you see it, whoops, just there. That was the, uh, the building used as the police station in the TV show. Humble's working out where he can jump in. Lots of nice food and drink places. And this little um, blue cottage over there, I think you can see it. Hold on, get a bit closer. Just here. That is the, uh, the location that they use for David Tennant's home in the series Broadchurch. So a lot of the scenes were shot around that. And here's another superstar. <laughs> So there's another shot of the, uh, the building they use as the police station. It's actually um, flats and apartments, um, but they use the outside of it as the police station, then also use the set for the inside of it. Discovery Centre. It's a unique building, local, locally as a chapel on the beach. It was previously a West Bay, Bay, Bay Methodist Church. Built in 1849, but now it's you can go in there and discover West Bay and all the uh, heritage and the Jurassic side of it. And this is the Watch House Cafe. It's the only cafe on the West Bay Beach. And we're just walking up to the beach now. Hello and welcome, another day and uh, another beach. 
So today we've driven to Swanage, which is probably about an hour drive from where we've been staying, but it was well worth it. Such a lovely uh, little town, beautiful beaches, beautiful clean sea. Um, the only trouble is at this time of year, dogs aren't allowed on the beach. So I was looking down because the water's coming in. <laughs> and, uh, but you can have them on lead on certain places. And there are some beaches around that do allow dogs. So it's not too bad, but we've got, we just brought a long lead with us for this, for this, um, Part of the walk so we can have still have a run around on the beach and enjoy the water but we've still got a hold of him which is quite good and uh, this is Swanish today so we brought a toy with us today it keeps sinking so we have to look for it and uh, I've got my uh, shoes off ready to go in if it does go out too far can you not find it Bumble where is it where is it Yay! Well done! Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> he puts his head right under the water and makes me laugh. So as you can see how gorgeous it is here. We've got a lovely, lo lo another lovely warm day. People are in swimming which is very tempting. And uh, yeah, beautiful. So here we are in uh, lovely Swanage and um, it's an old, uh, goes right back until probably the first century they think, but the first recorded um, part of it was in 877, eight, so it's a hell of a long time ago. And um, it was known as a fishing uh, town, fishing port, but then also into a quarry port as well. So the Romans um, really built that industry up and then that died away when they left. So um, it was disappeared until about um, the 1200s and it started up again but now it's known as a seaside resort the Victorians made it into a posh one for the uh, richer people and um, it's just thrived from there and it's got beautiful sandy beaches as we can see and it's a lovely lovely place to visit really good So we're here again on a beautiful day, it's uh, just nice and warm, a bit breezy but that doesn't matter. And you can see all the old uh, Victorian wrought iron still here, a bit rusty nowadays. But if you can make them think back to over 120 years ago, this would all been ornate. And all the right iron on the buildings as well. Bumble gets very excited when he gets near the sea. Yes, bang you. No. <laughs> Wants to be in there. That's kind of the view from this side, looking back over there. Let's just zoom in a little tiny bit. So we've just walked all the way along that beach. We're parked at the right at the other end. So there's old tram lines here, or train lines, which come all the way around this um, sort of little uh, walkway. And apparently it's what they used to use to uh, move the stones from the quarry in. They used to load it onto uh, these train tracks, or little trains, and move it that way and that way. There's Jackie over there. So this is a sanctuary garden, open this year. Really? And this is at one end of Swanage, so you can sit in the grassland or in this little garden area and look out over the coast. Very pretty area, they planted it really well as well. Doing this for my friend Natasha, she loves her plants, so there we go. It's an interesting one. So we're just giving Bumble a bit of freedom, let him off for a bit because there's a lot of most places around here are walk on lead. 
So we're just giving him a bit of freedom on the grass. As you can see, he needed it. <laughs> I haven't got anything. She's got it. I haven't got it. Mum's got it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get your toy. Go get it. <laughs> For anyone that owns uh, Springers or Cocker Spaniels or anything, they are such excitable dogs. They'll do anything to keep themselves busy. So he chews on a stick. We're going to get a toy out for him now. But, oh, did we? Oh, we left it in the car. You just have to play. You have to wait till we go back to the beach, aren't you? You are. Never mind. come back from a lovely day out and we're ready to have a barbie we just got it lit so we're waiting for the old uh, flames to die down and the charcoal to be all right aren't we we are had a nice day yes very nice day. did you enjoy it at swanage yes thank you what's your favorite part of swanage i'm not doing this huh i'm not doing the this. beaches i'm not doing it or the ice cream i'm not doing it <laughs> told you <laughs> bumble yeah. What was your favourite part of Swanage? Huh? Hey, you loved the beaches, didn't you, and the sea? Hey. <laughs> Some dinner coming. Still an absolutely beautiful evening here. Just stunning sea, isn't it? The sun's been out all day. We've had a bit of cloud, but it's been beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And that's our view. The horses are down there. They're normally in this field up here, but they've been put down the bottom today. There's another yurt where people are staying. And then this is our one. Got our new chairs, which are super comfy. Where are they from? Dunelm. They're only 30 quid and they're really comfy. Oh. Nice salad. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Got some meat to go with it. Well, I'm a veggie, so these ones are mine. And they're Jackie's. That one's looking a little bit black. <laughs> and we've got the football on. Last game of the 16. Just in there. So dinner is served. And that's the end of our day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to another day. And uh, I've got lovely egg roll Ooh, nice and uh, today we're going to go to Lyme Regis very local to where we're staying and we'll show you around so while I'm sitting here I'm just thinking and uh, watching Bumblebee here Bumblebee <laughs> that's funny um, be here um, using his nose to smell around the horses are just over there so they he picks up on those and he you know he loves to use his nose he's really into that um, I was just thinking how powerful their noses are and they have 125 million to 300 million um, scent receptors um, compared to our 5 million and they can inhale up to 300 times a minute and they breathe at the same time so they can sniff and breathe at the same time and their noses can um, detect to one part per billion parts which if you work it out is the equivalent of two teaspoonsfuls of substance in an Olympic sized swimming pool and they can pick up on that and find that. Amazing. So you might have seen your dog um, sort of do shallow breathing 
this is sometimes when they're sniffing and breathing at the same time so they bring their breathing down to short shallow breaths while they're using their nose to actually pick up on scent so if you see their sort of uh, chest cavity going up and down a bit quicker it's generally when their nose is picked up on something you'll see that uh, moving a bit quicker because they're regulating their breathing while they're sniffing and also their noses are incredible the uh, the end part of their nose is called the rhinarium and that picks up on not only smells but wind reception and everything uh, by being wet and staying wet it has uh, thermoreceptors that can uh, detect when uh, what direction the wind's blowing and it can uh, detect it by when it's cooling down on the nose so that that's why those nose stays wet and that helps with their navigational um, skills as well so they can detect which way the wind's coming in uh, it's incredible isn't it <laughs> and also recent studies shown in the uh, scientific reports that the renarium is also uh, 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 possibly has infrared traits as well so can detect things through that it's just amazing you can't make this stuff up can you so here we are at Lyme Regis and uh, we've parked at the top end car park so we're walking down the steep hill into Lyme Regis but look at that view you can see the sea and cliffs over there So when you watch uh, my videos and you see us walking about here, there and everywhere, it is kind of done in um, stages because um, sadly over the last sort of year or two, my right foot has kind of stopped working. So it uh, sort of flops a little bit as I'm walking along, as my wife describes it. And uh, yeah, it, it leaves me with a lot of numbness and sometimes pain as well. And so I just have to stop and start. And uh, that works all right for me. Still, I don't believe in giving up and, uh, and not doing anything anymore and sitting around. So I'd like to try and keep going as much as I can. Yeah, so it just means um, taking my time nowadays, really. Sometimes I uh, use a stick, but um, recently I had some uh, prayer at a, a festival I was at, which was wonderful. These ladies come over and prayed for me. And it's really kind of helped my mindset towards the uh, the whole disability thing and uh, really has sort of focus for me to keep going which is good I'm getting excited but we're at the top end of the high street to start with which is the bottom end is where the beach is Bumble <laughs> oh my little sidekick Jackie <laughs> you alright? Yeah. thought that would be alright then I was just telling uh, just telling people about um, why I don't walk so well at the moment and uh, that when we do videos hold on, I've got a loud, loud van going by when we do videos we kind of do stop start videos because I can't walk for long distances and stuff like that so I'm just explaining that to the camera okay. what do you call me? floppy feet <laughs> <laughs> we may be a little while Jackie's gone in uh, that shopping so we could be a little while but hey ho, that's what we're on holiday for. The one thing we find when we're away is uh, this time of year, because we're in July now, there's a lot of rules about no dogs here, no dogs there. Shops are getting better at letting dogs in, but definitely the councils don't like dogs, you can tell that. There's literally signs up everywhere saying, got to be on the lead, this, that and the other. And I get it for people who don't particularly like dogs. And so we found a beach in Lyme Regis, which is a stony beach, but the sea's looking all right. A bit cloudy today um, but we can let Bumble off here we can throw the ball and let him burn his energy off which is really good here he is here we go here we go as you can see the uh, weather's a little bit dark today but still quite warm even though it's breezy not complaining as long as it's not raining that's the main thing When you come away on holiday with your dog, you kind of gear your whole holiday up around um, what you're going to do because there's certain places you can't go and visit. But to be honest with you, it makes my holiday seeing him having such a good time as well. And we enjoy we enjoy being with him all the time. So perfect.
So this statue here is of Mary Anning with her little dog. Looks like a little cocker spaniel with her. Bless her. And she lived from 1799 to 1847. So she was what, 48? And she was a very respected paleontologist. So there she is in the background behind me. And uh, Mary Annie was a pioneer paleontologist and a fossil collector whose life was full of incredible firsts. Between 1811 and 1812, at just 12 years old, uh, she and her brother Joseph discovered the first, I'm going to not be able to pronounce it, Ichthyosaur. Fueled by his discovery, she spent her life searching for fossils and in 1823, at the age of 24, discovered the first complete skeleton of a plesiosaur. How cool is that? So she had a pretty uh, interesting life. So I don't know how much visibility you've got, but here we've got an area called Black Ben, just here. And then coming along is Charmouth. And then over here is Stone Barrow, followed by Golden Cap. And then you can't really see, but over here is West Bay in that area there, but it's got a bit cloudy over there today. Jackie's doing her um, Helen bit again. <laughs> so this wall takes you around the um, seawall and the outside of um, Lyme Regis. And they, uh, these were built, I mean they've obviously been updated, but these were built as a defence mechanism in the Napoleonic Wars in the 1600s. And um, there's still some sort of evidence of that, there's still some old cannons sitting around, I'll try and show you one of those. But yeah, they would have uh, not only been the sea defences, but also defence uh, from attack as well. There's someone else on the attack. I'm going to the bin. She's going to the bin. We had a nice uh, Costas down on the beach where Bumble had a play. Dogs made out of welly boots, we are in LA. <laughs> Very cool. So, this is the harbour of um, Lime Regis. Lime Regis. Regis. I said that in my Essex accent. Some lovely old sailing boats there that are old school. Those cliffs in the background, it's amazing. So that leads round um, on the right hand side, you can just about see it through the clouds, just zoom in a little bit. That's where we were the other day when we went to the uh, West Bay Broad Church. So we're just around the coast, this is really close to where we're staying, it's only about 10 minutes away from our, our yurt. What's the score? What's the score for Lone Regis? Oh. Out of 10. Huh? <laughs> I'll do the score then, shall I? I'm going to give it a solid 8 because it's a really nice seaside town. The only thing, reason I do knock it down a bit is because it's not particularly dog friendly with the beaches but it's kind of the uh, thing in the summer isn't it? But what do you reckon? 8 fair score? Yeah. Fair enough. So this is another one of the sea walls and we're just going to walk along it. Jurassic coastline, a map of it. So it starts up at Exmouth, goes all the way along where we are now, Lyme Regis up here, in West Bay where we were the other day. So we thought this was a beautiful old house to video, and we saw a blue plaque from a distance. We've come up to read about it, and it's basically Somewhere where you can sleep. <laughs> There's a fossil built into the wall there, look. So if you come to uh, Lyme Regis, this shop's perfect for dogs. It's called the Pug and Puffin. 
and it sells everything that you'd want for your dog from treats to souvenirs to these sort of plaques and badges and magnets and toys very good so the high street is kind of a typical high street except the seagulls noise and it goes right down there to where we've been earlier with the coast and the beaches but yeah I really like this town it's beautiful So today we're at Charmouth and we're heading today to the uh, world famous fossil beach of Charmouth. This is the little bridge we go over. And it leads out, the river leads out to the sea. First job of the day is to wear out Bumble. <laughs> Bumble, you found a fossil. You found a fossil, have you? You keep me hold of that one, have you? <laughs> so as we've been walking along, we found one on this big boulder here. So I won't be digging that one out, but as we walk past it, we noticed it under the sand, so I washed it off a little. Oh, thank you, Bumble. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that's very cool. I know. So I, can, I get what it's all about now, that's actually quite thrilling to actually come across something that is that old. It's just amazing just to see it sitting there and uh, I can imagine when people actually dig them out it must be a real thrill to be able to take them away with you. So uh, yeah, I highly recommend coming to this beach, brilliant. So to dig in, the, uh, in this area here and into the cliffs you have to get special permission but anywhere along the beach is fine. So if you find a boulder like I just found then you can uh, have a little hack at it and see if you can get the, uh, the fossils out. This is all incredible, it's almost like charcoal. It's just, yeah, very good. So Jackie's just found this one and we think there's one just there, you can see the outline of it, kind of just come around here. Very cool, I might take that one back with us. What do you reckon? A bit heavy. A bit heavy? No, we'll see then. This is a really fascinating beach actually, so uh, as you walk along you see little things and you think oh is that a fossil and you think no nah, maybe not and uh, it's just fun to walk along watching really. It's a lovely day, so the tide's coming in, looks amazing. Just Jackie doing a bit of fossil hunting there, and Bumble trying to join in with her. Basically Bumble just wants a stone for us to throw and then he can carry it, he loves to do that. I hope you can hear me all right because of the sound of the waves. Lovely, isn't it?
funny as you walk along because you see things in your own mind. And look, I thought, doesn't that look like a dinosaur head? <laughs> Maybe it was. It's not perfect, but it's the best one I've ever had. That's anyway. amazing. But do you know oh, what? Brilliant. Oh, no, do you need to have a bag? I've got some. So I didn't want to put her on camera, but that lady had found um, a small bag for her, and that one was uh, so perfectly intact, wasn't it? It was brilliant. Very interesting. So it's fascinating. Everyone's here doing their fossil hunting, digging stuff out. So this here is all freshly fallen uh, landslide off the cliffs, which is why there's such a flurry of people um, doing their fossil hunting. Because apparently it's a good time to find them. So I'm in the uh, fossil shop. There's loads of fossils here. This is the impressive one, look at that. How incredible is that? Amazing. Collapse. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Are you videoing? Yeah. Already? I'm in. Want that bumble? Oh, nearly. Ready? Jump. Go. Ready? Up. <laughs> Good boy. So we've come along the coastline and now we're at Sidmouth and they call this the, uh, what is it, the Hidden Jewel of Devon. So uh, it's a lovely little beach, nice little town, very quiet actually. It's a certain of age group, which I suppose I'm getting into myself now. It's Devon's best kept secret, isn't it? Ah. So I made a mistake calling it the Jewel of Devon. No, it's be Devon's best kept secret, apparently, Jackie says, doing my fact checking for me. We've come for dinner at the uh, Anchor in Sidmouth. Jackie's got fish and chips. I've got a vegetable frittata. Is that right? Tart. Vegetable tart. Looks very nice. Pumble's going to probably get a chip. So, Sidmouth. Nice little town. Um, shops are nice. Fairly quiet. We're sitting in the middle of the, like, the town centre really, having something to eat and it's quiet. Um, very, very old. <laughs> it's got a, the old, I'm pretty old, but it's a lot older than me. But yeah, it's really nice. Beach is nice. Nice and quiet. Hello, so it's another day and as you can see we're walking down a pathway. <laughs> So we're going into West Bay again today to have a little look around, let Bumble play on the beach. And uh, they do some really good bread pudding in the uh, cafe there. So we might be picking up a bit of that as well. What's been your favorite food of the week, Jackie? Fudge. Fudge, fair call. <laughs> so this is a really old um, train, but now it's called the Station Kitchen. And it's become a, a local restaurant cafe. And there's a train, 
and the train line stopped being used back in the 60s, I think Jack has said. Lovely place. So we come down to the beach, but it uh, looks good over there. But above us is pretty uh, cloudy and wet. There's the beautiful uh, West Cliff, uh, West Cliff, <laughs> West Bay Cliffs. And the uh, sea's pretty choppy there. Can you see the waves coming in? Really big today. No swimming for Bumble today. No swimming today. No. doing her own video of the sea. It's all wrapped up sensibly, good up. It's actually not that cold, it's just uh, the rain. literally feel like we've got the most beautiful landscapes in Britain but sadly we don't get the weather if we had the uh, Mediterranean weather along with these sort of coastlines oh it'd be amazing but it's so beautiful anyway I've oh, got a lot of fishermen over there doing some fishing fishing boats and uh, leisure boats in this little bit of harbour here and there's that building I was saying about the other earlier on in the video where it used to be used as the police station in Broadchurch we've got some lobster um, catchers I've often wondered how these work oh, so they go in and they can't get back out through the spikes I see I don't eat any seafood or meat so uh, that doesn't really appeal to me <laughs> I'm just wondering what the uh, the red spot on the uh, on the yellow bill of a seagull is, and um, they use it when they're feeding their young. So the young pick at the red spot, and it gets the adult to regurgitate their food so they can feed their young. And also, it's also used in signalling to other seagulls and communicating with them. So there's a reason for it. You just had a whimsy, have you? You just had a chew. Are you happy now? Hey? Sit. Good boy. Are you happy now? Yeah, good boy. You had a run on the beach, haven't you? Hey? Couldn't go in the water today. It was way too rough, wasn't it? Good boy, yes you are, you're a good boy. Oh, oh thank you, thank you. <laughs> so uh, today's been a bit of a washout. It's been quite heavy rain. You can see the mist coming in over there on the, uh, the hills over near Charmouth. And it's pretty grim, but we've had a lovely day still. We're still hitting the beach, which is the main thing. That's what we're here for, for Bumble. Jackie looks pretty wet there with her coat, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, as they say, you can do anything in the rain except sunbathe. So it's absolutely chucking it down now, as you can probably hear. 
and we've just come off the beach playing with Bumble which is really good fun but I think that's it for today because it's just so wet I can't film anymore see you tomorrow so we're back at our yurt and it is absolutely tipping it down as you can see the drips coming down and you can hear it on the roof of the yurt it's quite nice being in here actually to be honest Bumble's had a good uh, run and a swim in the sea on the way round and we've even lit our stove because we're in July and of course we need some heat don't we so we've got the fire going how pretty is that nice and Jackie you're gonna do dinner on it aren't you yeah me woman your woman make fire <laughs> It's the penultimate day of our holiday. We travel back tomorrow and we've come back down to Lyme Regis Beach. And this beach is sort of tucked away in the harbour, so we kind of let the dogs off down here and it's, uh, it's all right. The rest of the beach is a dogs on lead only. He's having a whale of a time chasing the ball. Got some beautiful weather today, looking good. Got a throw. <laughs> And yeah, it's lovely today. A bit windy though, isn't it? Yeah, where your hair go? Thank you. <laughs> Tight well and truly out. Day on the beach and it bumble till we go back to Colchester tomorrow and we just had some uh, chips from here Lime's fish bar Jackie's had fish and chips good Jackie yeah tasty and we're sitting with a view can't be bad somebody just got married and they're having their photo shoot done on the end of the uh, the cob Decent uh, views behind, blue skies, boats, and the cliffs behind that. So, from Bumble, Jackie, and myself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's a long one, but we've had a really good week, a really full week, and uh, really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as well. So, until the next one. See you soon, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be really helpful. It's free to subscribe, so go ahead and do it. Tell your friends. Thanks very much. <laughs>